Hi Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with another reading. And this reading is all about your person, right? Behind the scenes, on your person. So if you get a message here, Leo and your cross watcher, uh, please give a thumbs up. Please note Leo and your cross watcher or your person, whoever's watching this, these energies could be Leo's person or Leo, okay? Um, yeah, and uh, let's get started. From the Lenormand is the ring, the moon, the sun, here. <laughs> the wishing well, these are all great cards, yeah, beautiful cards about new beginnings and commitment, right, and romance, right, romance and seduction, mm -hmm. sometimes the ring can be just something going round and round, but I'm kind of feeling it as it is a uh, commitment, but the mask is here now with the star, so this could be where somebody, uh, there could be, you know, there could be commitment within a third party that is coming, right, that could be the case, sometimes this talks about just uh, trying to adapt, right? Wearing, uh, like, a couple different faces to kind of, like, make something work, right? It can be. Like, being being flexible and being able to adapt, uh, but we're going to see as we find out, okay? Yeah, because that can simply be deception, right? Yeah, it can. So let's, let's keep going here. Your person's overall energy is the, is the Ace of Pentacles. From the bottom of the deck, uh, Leo, is the Seven of Swords, the Star, I feel like these are the underlying energies, the Seven of Cups, the Hermit, and the Three of Cups in the reverse. Okay, we're going to take all these cards. I feel like what this is, there could be a Virgo here in the picture already, right? But there's sneaky energy here because the Seven of Swords was the first card at the bottom of the deck, yes. And so this mask over here is really about deception, okay? Now that we have confirmed that, and let's get into this here. The Ace of Pentacles is their overall energy. Why is that Leo's person's overall energy here? Five of Cups. Yeah, see, there's there was a very sad ending here, Queen of Cups. There's probably a water sign here, Cancer, uh, Pisces, or Scorpio, Leo. And, yeah, this is what this mask is about, right? Yeah, this is about uh, deception. Okay, so these Six of Cups is showing up in the reverse. That is in their challenge, right? Why is the Six of Cups there for Leo's person? Eight of Cups. Wow. So they could be leaving because they don't want to go back to the same type of a situation, but I feel like there could be a third party here, maybe, or somebody from the past, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody could have moved on for somebody from the past, like to go back to the past, Six of Cups in the reverse. Nine of Cups in the reverse. This is clear deception, the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, it is. I feel like somebody went back to somebody from their past and has created a really sad ending for your person. It could be this water sign. The Page of Pentacles is showing up in the root. Why is the root there for Leo's person? And the Two of Cups is here. And the Knight of Pentacles is here. Okay, so in the root... Uh, yeah, there's an earth sign here as well. It could have been that Virgo that was at the bottom of the deck, right? It could have been. I'm already seeing water energy here and uh, an earth energy. And, of course, you are here, Leo, the Queen of Wands, showing up in their environment. So, so far, we're probably looking at a third party, uh, maybe with earth sign, earth energy, and water. Why is the King of Knight of Pentacles there for them? This is in their root here. This is why it's all happening. Yeah, somebody has a new beginning here, a new start with somebody they feel like there's their soulmate surrounding an earth sign, right? And this could be you with an earth sign. Uh, it could be them, maybe, right? Maybe they are, uh, maybe they have a new beginning and you are the sad person. It depends. It's kind of looking the other way for me. But the seven of wands is in the recent past for them. Why is that seven of wands there, please? Oh, fuck. Okay, two of wands over here. Sorry, guys, two of wands. And this is in the recent past, right? Yeah, somebody was needed some more information. They were feeling defensive. They were feeling actually uh, overwhelmed. And I feel like somebody was just trying to resist somebody here. Yeah, resist somebody from leaving. Yeah, and they were trying to figure it out if they were leaving here. I feel like somebody was trying to resist somebody from choosing somebody else. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Okay, the crowning their thoughts is the... Uh, four of swords in the reverse. Why is that four of swords there, please? 
The Fool card is here. This is uh, showing up and crowning their thoughts. So there could be an Aries here, right? The Queen of Wands is here, Leo, but that could be you. Temperance is here, too. This could be a Sag. But I feel like what this is, uh, crowning their thoughts. They're restless. They want to take a leap of faith on something because they feel like something, there's no harmony for them. There's no harmony whatsoever. Temperance in the reverse. Or there is a Sag who is putting them at a disadvantage. Why is that Temperance card there? For... Leo's person, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups in the reverse. So, sorry guys about that. So they're not, what this is, is that they feel like somebody is no longer open to love, right? Possibly an earth sign here, it's going to go away in a minute guys. Possibly an earth sign with the Queen of Pentacles showing up. I feel like what this is, is that they are restless here, and they want to take a leap of faith here. And they could have a hard time, maybe, uh, trying to heal here. It's a possibility. I'm not really seeing that so much. Uh, oh, maybe here with the Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody could be having a hard time. Yeah, this is a really bad ending here. I feel like they are restless, though, and they want to take a leap of faith here. Or this is about you taking a leap of faith, possibly, with an earth sign. Yes, that's what this is. So somebody is having a new beginning with an earth sign, right? Knight of Pentacles. Uh, Leo, your person showing up in their root, why it's all happening. So they could be this Knight of Pentacles, right? And it's possible, it, it can go either way, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody is no longer open to love about a situation, and somebody wants to take a leap of faith here. And either, yeah, either go after an earth sign, or they could be in their near future, your person is the, they have the Knight of Wands. Why do they have the Knight of Wands? So there's a lot of people here, right? Of course. This is why the mask is here. Of course. Okay. Ace of Wands. And in the near, in the near future for them, uh, they're they look like they're taking action to have their own new beginning. This is how this looks here. Mm -hmm. This could be uh, just in their near future. Somebody else. Ace of Swords. Three of Wands. So there's like a third party here or somebody is turning their back. Wow, this is interesting here. So your person could have this, yeah, your person could have a new beginning for themselves. Yeah, they could. Mm -hmm. And now I'm looking at the reading this way. I feel like they have a new beginning. Uh, and there could be a water sign. Wow, this is super interesting. They could be a water sign, right? They, I feel like they have a new beginning. This five of cups could be the person they are dealing with. Yeah, maybe this queen of cups right here. Because this is how these cards are in their overall energy. The Ace of Pentacles is their overall energy, which is like a long-term, uh, like an opportunity for a long-term stable union. Mm -hmm. Can be just a new beginning, all, all, you know, just like a new beginning. Maybe not such an opportunity, right? Uh, like it's past the opportunity stage. Yeah, wow, somebody has moved on for somebody else here. The devil card, and I feel like it's somebody from the past. They're seeing themselves as the devil. Why do they see themselves that way? Page of Wands. King of Swords in the reverse. I feel like they are stuck here. They're seeing themselves as stuck here about some type of a new path where somebody is lying. Yeah, King of Swords in the reverse. Here fit. Judgment. They could be trying to make a decision, maybe. Yeah, wow. Because they're in the, they have the Page of Swords in the recent past. Two of Wands here. This is in the recent past for them. They were trying to resist something, but I feel like they needed some information. Page of Swords. This is their recent past. And why is it Two of Wands there? The Justice card. Wow. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like somebody wants justice here. Yeah. And they feel like they were, like, juggled, right? They feel like they were juggled here. Um, yeah. And somebody could feel like a decision has been made about them, like a, a decision against them. Like your, your person could feel that way. 
But I feel like this is a liar here, King of Swords, right, with a mask. This is a liar here. Your person is seeing themselves as feeling stuck here. I felt I felt like about somebody who lied, like somebody who uh, maybe could have fed them like a new beginning that is like full of bullshit. It's a possibility here. Why is the judgment card there? They could be this liar themselves, the devil with the king of swords in the reverse. The chariot card. We see the queen of cups over there. This could be a Cancerian four of cups. They could they could have some fear here about some new start here. Mm -hmm. And somebody is somebody is like uh, somebody is a super li a big liar here, but it's not it's not clear who is. Yeah, because your person looks like in the root they have some type of a new beginning, and in the near future as well, right? They could be turning their back here. Maybe not so so much manifestational. Why is the three of wands there? Why do they have the three of wands in the near future? Somebody's really happy about a new beginning, and somebody is sad because they're like like they're at the brunt of it, right? Eight of eight of wands, four of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so somebody's dropping somebody here, right? Somebody's letting go of somebody. I feel like they're turning their back here because somebody else has a new beginning. I feel like that's what this is. Yeah, and they feel stuck about this somebody having like a new start here because they lied. They were like dealing with third party or this person was just lying or how, however. Yeah. The Queen of Wands is in their environment. Why is the Queen of Wands in Leo's person's environment? This is probably you, Leo, showing up in their environment. Three of Cups in the reverse. Wow, the Hermit. So, you know, there could be a, a third party. This three of cups in the reverse could be a third party. This could be like not having a reconciliation. But this could be a third party that has ended. It depends. Because this three of cups can be like, uh, it can be any kind of third party. One that is ending, one that is, uh, it, can be, it can be a few things, right? The hermit is here. And remember, the knight of pentacles is in the reading. For, so, for some of you guys, there is an earth sign. That is no doubt. Uh, let's get a card on the Hermit, and most likely a Virgo. Why is that? Why is the Hermit there in their environment? Yeah. So for me, your person is dealing with you, Leo, and a Virgo here. But it looks like there's a water sign in the reading as well. Wow. Two of Swords here. This could be love here. It's a possibility. Somebody could be really uh, taking a hard turn here, like t having a really hard time grieving, right? Five of Cups about an ending, right, and somebody has left, or they are leaving at this moment, right, kind of like Eight of Cups in the Crossing Energy, why is that Queen of Cups there for Leo's person, the King of Cups, yeah, wow, this is, wow, this is a couple here, this is love, though, uh, and the Nine of Wands, yeah, so your person, I feel like your person is not the one who has the new beginning, I feel like it is you, Leo, mm-hmm, and they're leaving because somebody lied. I feel like that's what this is. Yeah. Or somebody is leaving to be with somebody else because they're a liar. It is either, either yeah, it's the same thing kind of, right? Yeah. In their environment, they're feeling stuck here. Or they feel blocked or stuck. I feel like they're at a stalemate and they feel stuck here. And they're super defensive. They don't know what to do about a situation here. I feel like what is the third party between possibly a Virgo and somebody else here? Maybe it's a water sign. Maybe it's you, Leo, because here you are, the Queen of Wands. And yeah, there could be another. There could be uh, another fire sign. The Fool is in the reading, crowning their thoughts. Mm hmm. This reading is really about a decision here, about a decision about, I feel like somebody, uh, somebody leaving because somebody else has lied to them. And the person who, uh, or it is that somebody is leaving because they're going to be with a third party. And it could be both, right? You could, if somebody is leaving for a third party, the other person could like know that, well, I'm leaving, same time, like I'm leaving now as well. Yeah, that could be the case. 
somebody is going off here to be with their wish, right? Yeah, their wish come true. Because remember, all these cards were beautiful. The wishing well, the moon, this is romance and passion. The sun card, happiness and success. The star, I feel like it was the ring first, which is commitment here. Uh, and the, this is love and commitment, and the star, which is somebody, star, somebody who wants to be with somebody. This could be healing, though, too. I feel like this is somebody's star here. I don't think this is about healing. No. This is about somebody leaving for another situation. And somebody could need to heal, right? Somebody's in the Nine of Wands energy, right? Wounded warrior here. So, but the mask is here. So somebody is lying to go be with their, their true love or their... They're a third party that they really want or however, okay? Now, in their hopes and fears is the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups in Leo's person's hopes and fears? Why do they hope for that? Yeah, and yeah, okay. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yikes, this is like terrible energy here. Wow. High Priestess. And the High Priestess is either Pisces or Scorpio. Um, and we see, like, a lot of water energy in this reading, right? The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. So there is a water sign here, too, I believe. But I feel like this is a secret here. And their hopes and fears, I feel like they are hoping to have a new beginning here, and they are fearing that somebody is just a liar here and that they have their secret. Let's get one more card on the, or that they have a water sign, possibly. Why is that High Priestess there? Why is that their hopes and fears? King of Wands, this is you, uh, Leo. You could have... Uh, I feel like you have somebody else here. Mm -hmm. Or your person does. It's that simple, right? They're generals, and it's kind of hard to peg that. Especially with all these players, right? Yeah. So we're going to find out, though, on Vimeo, because we're going to find out exactly uh, what your person is fearing, what they're hiding, or what they don't want you to know here. Also, the underlying issues here, which can tell a lot. We're going to find out the blocks, right? Uh, maybe somebody is directly blocking you, Leo, uh, from being with your person. That could be the case here. But we're going to find out... And, and their outcome, your person's outcome on Vimeo. All those extendeds are super affordable. If you guys need your own reading, that is always the best way. You can certainly get one. Thank you so much. If you've got a message here, please give a thumbs up.